And she says, this, this is what you need. So just Jade. What do you do with it? See, reaching out your hand. Grab it. She says, this never breaks. Mm. What is the meaning of this object? Why is she giving it to you? As long as you have me, everything's going to be okay. And as long as you don't let it consume you, you're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm your elder, but you do not know me by name. She says, I was once you in that same space. Why does she want you to know that? Because now you are me. Mm-hmm. So is she another aspect of you? She's putting out her hand. And she goes like, of course I am. Mm-hmm. She chuckles a little bit. Mm-hmm. And she does like this thing of do not be confused. And she was like, we are literal twins. I'm just a different life. She said, I live by the water. That's why you love it so much. And in times when you don't want it, don't go to it. She says, drink it in abundance, but never fall a fool for it. She says, cancer is all around us. What does that mean? Things change. She said things need to, but in literal meaning, she means change. You can't stop it. You can always prolong it and never fall short what you can do. Does that make sense to you? You can always ask her a question. What do you mean? She says, well, in literal terms, do not be mean. Do not turn an eye. Do not fuss too much. Everything will be what you want. You just have to let things be. And trust me, I respond, I'll trust you. And she makes a metaphor referring to the beauty of the sea. It's like you and me. It's unpredictable. It comes in waves. We're controlled by the moon. So again, just trust me. And when I say, you are exactly where you're supposed to be, and everything will be meant to be. And then she tells me, sit, and we just watch the water for a second. Mm. The sun looks pretty. Mm. Sounds beautiful. The horizon, the water so blue, cool, reef to the right. She says, you know, I wish I can control the sea, but that will never be me. <laughs> she says, as you wish you can control the land, and you will have a hand. Yeah. She says, you will have a hand in that. Does she want you to know anything about that? What would you like me to know about that? She says, Earth was made for you and me, but it comes with great responsibility. She says, you never know what you're going to get, but that's the beauty of living between you and me. See, I love the sea and you love the land, and that's perfect harmony. So trust in me. That's where she needs it. Are we able to ask her one more question? Can we ask one more question? So, of course. I wonder if she can help you transmute any anger, any anger that does not serve you, and anything else you might be holding in the body or the space around you that does not align to your highest path. It's like she, she says hi. She heard your question. She puts her hand out. In front of me like this. Mm-hmm, the heart. And it just says, breathe, breathe. Good. Second. She says, you feel every memory, every taunt, every tantrum, every heartbreak. You feel it all. We're going to take that away. How do you just got like <laughs> You feel it? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling? Just, just like. Let it, let it roll through. Everything's heating up. Good. Let whatever you don't need go. Let her take it. She says you don't like to be touched, but trust the person you love. It may not be who you expect it to be, but you never know the turn of reality. And is it aligned to your highest path to connect with her sometimes when you need guidance or support or connection? You said, call me mama. 
on the snake. Mm. She said I was once a serpent who slid it away. I found my own path. And she says, that's what you're meant to do. It's find your own way. You love everyone. But along the way, you're going to have to break away. She said, prepare for the journey that life has for you. They're going to cry so many tears of joy. Just trust the way. And the little bird in the cage in your heart? She said she fluttered away. Mm. You let her out. And now you're on your own way. And those spaces of the energy that you release, do you fill them with anything? She takes it away. So let's replace it with being complacent. Stay on the path of greatness. But never let no one make you feel complacent. Mm -hmm. Those who do do not deserve you. Because everyone feels your energy and everyone knows your work. And no one knows it like you do. Is there something inside of you that you haven't seen yet that she can see and help you understand? She points to my right shoulder and then points to the left. She like pushes me mm -hmm. into like my room where I was in high school when it was red lights. She said, don't fill your space with that. Says you are a bull. And you know like red. Why is that important? What do those lights mean? They trigger the wrong emotions for you. Mm -hmm. She said, stick to bright. Live in color. She said, you see how you were in this time. Don't go back to it. Small. Everything feels so small. She said, you're not made for that anymore. You're bigger than this. So again, trust in me. The guy that was in the cabin with me is also here now. Mm -hmm. What does he want you to know? He's just sitting in the back. But he's, he has like a, I guess like a face of gratitude. He's also another part of me. He lives in a completely different environment. Mm -hmm. Which was the cold near the morning lights. Mm. Is that his cabin? Makeshift. Ask him if there's anything you can do for them from this place. Is there anything you could heal for them or help them with? Help them transmute? Be your best self. And what that looks like is love your wealth, love yourself, continue. To that faith, don't be cold like me, is what he says. Mm -hmm. And she says, don't be too hot like me. She said, you are the perfect balance. So let things be. And how will you know for your body when you're totally in balance? She said, the left side of your body will feel heavy. The right side will begin to light, feel light. Mm -hmm. She said, that's the fire igniting. What does that fire mean? Shadows. Black, black and out. She said, don't delve too heavy in it, but continue to develop your own being. And she says, well, now they both chime in now. What <laughs> we mean mm -hmm. is you are not alone. You have us. You do not know us, but we were all once each other. Lions and snakes. She said, that's why you're so light on your feet and no one ever knows when you're coming. She said, that's why you end up place to place because you're always going, you're always moving because you're breaking away, whether you like it or not. What are you breaking away from? History. And family, she said, you are the accomplishment of what we couldn't be. Is he a serpent as well? Mm -mm. He's 
he's more of the lion, the guy. Mm-hmm. That's why he has the fur. Mm-hmm. When like the owl, like one of the albino tigers, kind of. Mm-hmm. She said, "No snakes shall live in the garden. No chaos shall erupt." He says, "No tornado shall form, and no earth should erupt." He said. Spend as much time by the shore and you are able and you will figure it out for yourself. Mm-hmm. She's seconding okay. the plan. Mm-hmm. She said, stay away from cliffs. Mm-hmm. Who showed you you kind of slipping down off that cliff in the very first scene you saw? What was that all about? The Navy ships in war was that a metaphor or something that actually happened Um, it's like her she was the one that slipped off the cliff why is that important for you to know about today she said it will hang you dry it's not very wise is the cliff a metaphor for something You are your own cliffhanger, but there are ones who will drift you towards a nearing demise. Mm -hmm. And how can you use your abilities, your senses, your intuition to prevent that from happening, to notice when there's a slip? Feel the energy and move as you should. There's a double meaning. And she also had, I guess, I actually stay away from cliffs. They're not that good to be armed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like literally. Mm-hmm. Okay. But she says this second meaning is the act of consuming energy. It will leave you out to dry once they've used everything. Stay away from fire signs. They're not good company. She said, you need air to be able to breathe. You are part of the earth. So what you need is stability to be grounded. She said, you need water to drink, but don't become too surrounded. So where she leads it at. Okay. Who showed you all these different scenes? You going through those portals and the boats and seeing what chaos of war can do. What were they trying to get across and who was showing you that? She said it was me, but also he was there as well, the one laughing. Mm -hmm. What was their point about chaos? Your family doesn't need it. Be the one to keep peace. But distance yourself when you need it. Only when you feel you need it. But do not do it too much. And she says, the angel that didn't want to show his face is always with you. Mm. How come he didn't want to show his face? Likes to stay hidden. Mm -hmm. Element of surprise. And the face you've seen was your ancestor. What about when that storm cloud is coming? Does that have any symbolism to it? There was a time at the beach when there was a storm that swept everything away. And she was saying the energy in the storm was me. And how they can sweep everything away. That's a lot of power to hold inside. Yeah. What would they like you to know about that? Why did they show that today? Electricity. Be the light that you were meant to be. Don't get shrouded in darkness. From there, you'll see. Mm -hmm. That's where they leave it at.